Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Last video, for some reason our voices were really choppy and I don't know why, so sorry about that. I, I was listening back to it and... Oh, I put an AI filter over it to make it, to <laughs> chop it up, you know. So sorry about that, but how is it going everyone? But we're gonna talk about something that is kind of a mystery. Yes, this is a mystery that, I don't wanna say has haunted people, but <laughs> has kept people up at night. We're all wondering what's in the envelope. <laughs> we are wondering what's in the envelope because um, Kristen posted a picture the other day and beautiful picture, you know, beautiful embrace of Tobin and Kristen. I mean, this is one of the cutest pictures I think they have ever posted. And we've seen this photo before. So it's a double post. Okay, so that that's kind of that's kind of the mystery that is going on. Kristen Bree posted this picture because she originally posted it of March, it was March 1st, 2023. So she posted it about a year ago. And at that point she posted it when they, she originally posted that picture, everyone loved it. I mean, obviously the picture is super cute. I mean, super cute, but they posted it last year. And the question back then was, um, they're standing in front of a building and it kind of looks like a courthouse. It kind of looks like an official building. I have an update to that but they have something in their hand. Kristen has something in her hand and people noticed it back then. They said, you know, I wonder what's in the envelope. It's a super cute picture and there looks to be in a manila folder and th maybe there's something important in that folder. Super cute envelope too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so that was the question back then. A lot of people at that point speculated a, you know, a marriage license, uh, some type of official document. I thought it was a fishing license, so. <laughs> It could be that. You, you never know. Yeah. So you never know. You never. Know. But uh, so they posted that originally March 1st, 2023. Then, then on the 29th of this year, 2024, Kristen reposted it about a year later, almost a year later. And she reposted that same exact photo. We know with a white heart. Yeah. Because last time it was in a photo dump. She knows that we know that she's already posted it. So it's not like she forgot. Like, I don't think, I don't, maybe she forgot. Who knows? The fans never forget anything. Yeah. <laughs> the fans only didn't, but she posted it. So that leads the fandom to believe that picture is extra, extra, extra special to them. That That's what it leads us to believe. There was a reason why she posted this. Mm -hmm. But what is the reason? <laughs> Cardi B, insert Cardi B's, what was the reason? Oh, I haven't seen that meme. <laughs> uh, so I have to know. Yeah. And, you know, I guess the idea is, we don't know until they tell us. However, a lot of people think it's a marriage license. A lot of people, I was on the message board, and a lot of people think maybe like even like a domestic partnership license. And what's nice about a domestic partnership is there's no real, I'm not exactly sure the way it works, but there's no real divorce that happens. You just separately go your own ways. It's not like a divorce where you have to split up assets and you split up, split up community property. It's, 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 it's less legal than that. Well, that would make more sense, especially after the podcast mm -hmm. when Tobin said all her things. Exactly. Exactly. A lot of people are saying, you know, seven year contract makes more sense to be in a domestic partnership than a marriage. Oh, well, you know what? I know what's in the envelope. It's a seven year contract. Yeah. And they had to get it, I don't know, authenticated by a judge. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> May, yeah, so I mean, anyone, it's the guest. You know, and I was actually on the same message board I was reading. I hadn't caught this from the podcast, but during the podcast, obviously we know that Tobin has a different outlook about the way she looks at marriage and, things you know we talk, we heard about the seven-year contract which is a little unique you know i understand it i actually kind of really like it but somebody said you know in the podcast she actually said most often people have been getting things wrong about the relationship since since they've kind of launched and she says a lot of times people are just they've gotten it wrong which makes sense because a lot of it is a guessing game so it makes sense we're getting a lot of it wrong so obviously i think this picture is very special to them and also, this is what I was thinking too. She posted it originally on March 1st, and then she reposted it on January 29th. Is January 29th the day that is the special date? Maybe she posted the picture on March 1st, but they actually took the picture on January 1st or January 29th. It seems to be some sort of anniversary. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So what does everyone think? 
So if anyone has any guesses to what's in the envelope, let us know down below. Wrong answers only. <laughs> yeah. I liked your fishing license um, idea. I don't know if I even mentioned this. It, it looks like it's in front of a courthouse. Apparently, it is not in front of a courthouse. It is in front of the Disney Concert Hall in LA. Someone posted on Instagram. The Disney Concert Hall. So that might be memorable to them as well. Interesting. Yeah. A Disney wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I love that. So um, it wasn't a courthouse, which initially I kind of thought it was a courthouse, but it wasn't. But then also one of our friends on Instagram posted this really, I think this is like the perfect comment. And I, I just saw this. This has been one of my favorite pics that you have ever posted. I hope we get the story behind this pic someday. Um, you two are so in love. Yeah, exactly. I hope one day, you know, we can get the, the story behind it because it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. And I think maybe she specifically dropped it because you know, they are going to give us more insight soon, hopefully, because they've been pretty open lately. So that's the hope and the dream. I think it's like, almost like a fun game, which I know love and relationships isn't like a game, but it is kind of like, what are we going to get next? And, you know, I, I, I do like, I think it's fun. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So what does everyone think about the envelope? Very cool. Now we have kind of an update about uh, the video we did yesterday uh, because at the time, you know, the news had just broken. Our video came out a little later after the news had broken. But when we recorded it, the news had, had just broke that it was official that I kept calling him the Lion City Lionesses yesterday and I tried to fix the audio, but it was the London City Lionesses. It's kind of a tongue twister. Total mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> the London City Lionesses. They drew Arsenal in the quarterfinals for the Conti Cup. And I, I will, I'm going to start here because somebody actually gave us some information. I asked the question, how do they draw the names? Because they, you know, is it behind closed doors? Was it an accident? Is it bingo style? In the <laughs> yeah. Is it accident? Is it, could there be any funny business? Because I wasn't actually quite sure. Somebody left a comment. It said, number of balls representing each club were mixed in a bowl and picked at random. It's just a coincidence, LOL. And this is what's funny. I was on TikTok a couple hours this a couple hours after this comment was posted and I saw the Conti Cup draw on TikTok. <laughs> it was just out of the back. I'll play it in the background. So so the conspiracy that there was kind of funny business, I think it was meant to be more than anything rather than a conspiracy. Mm, that's that's what they want you to believe anyway. <laughs> There's only two balls in there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so thank you for that comment. And then I did see that. So thank you for that comment. And then also Obviously, the subtext to what is going on, Arsenal versus Ly London City, Lionesses, you know, Roosh's team against Caitlin's team, against Katie in the middle, the, the swerve, the cheating, the everything. Those are too many words. <laughs> what we talked about yesterday was like, was, was there going to be a part two? Was there going to, was Rusha going to be, was there going to be some type of, I don't want to say altercation because that's not really what I'm talking about, but there, was there going to be any type of fireworks at this game? And, you know, Sarah and I kind of said, we didn't think so overall. You know, Rusha's been t pretty open about dealing with everything and going through therapy. And, you know, she seems like she's in a good place. Uh, but sometimes for myself, Sometimes, sometimes you let your emotions go kind of a little, you express your emotions even when you're not meaning to. So that could happen. I tend to do that. And Sarah, <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, Sarah. I'm pointing at her right now. <laughs> I do that. Do I think it's going to happen? I don't. But after you and I had recorded our video, Rusha and her sister who also, who have a podcast, they actually talked about the draw. They talked about the draw in particular. And I'm going to read this comment. Rusha has confirmed there will be no drama in a live yesterday. She said she likely won't won't play because she doesn't play midweek games. And on the radio this morning, it got shared that Rusha only trains Wednesdays to whatever day they play their weekend match and then goes in for rehab Monday and Tuesday, which again would suggest she won't play because she won't won't have trained with them from the previous game. Yeah, so I that comment was posted. Then I watched a little of the podcast, their podcast. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched the part. I'm going to watch. I just haven't time yet. But I watched the part where she was talking about it. She also said she has to watch out for her Achilles because that is the injury she has, you know, been afflicting her. She has to watch out for her Achilles. So there's a good possibility Rusha won't even play. So she said herself, there's not going to be any drama. Um, she said if, every, if everyone's coming to look at, you know, look at the game in particular, there's not going to be any drama because that she's moved past that dramatic part of it. It's the only show that we're going to get is the beautiful show of soccer yeah. <laughs> or football, if you will. Yeah. So she said she has to manage her Achilles. 
<laughs> then she said something so funny. I don't even know what the context she was talking about, but Rusha is so funny. She said something about being on the the age ranges of people who don't like her or who, who hate her. And she goes, it's from little kids to Susan Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good age range. To, I like that explanation. Yeah. She got, I have to listen to her whole podcast. She is so freaking funny. Then she also said, someone left a comment. I have to, I have to watch this whole podcast. I just haven't had a t- chance today, but um, someone left a podcast saying this. Rusha suggested on her podcast that she should be entitled to a cut of London City Lioness's gate receipts for that night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't disagree. I do not disagree. Of course. She's bringing in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think there, there's going to be drama, but I was thinking this, although we're not going to have, you know, a swerve part two, we're not, cause she's not going to swerve her on the line. I mean, after the game, you know how they always, if Roosh is not even on the sub list, maybe she won't be on the field at all. But after the game, when people kind of high five and things, will there be any type of interaction, A, between Roosh and Katie? And then would there be any interaction between Roosh and Caitlin after the game is over? No, I don't, no, I don't think so. Like, like they had talked about on the podcast and like how we kind of said yesterday, every, they know every eye is going to be on this matchup. You know what I mean? Everyone's going to be on this match. Every, every, all the eyes are going to be watching this game. So I don't think she wants to cause any more drama. She could have easily done the, <laughs> the very little kid thing to do that you're like mad at the other team you you high five them after the game but you give them the the hardest high fives i i i, I can't imagine that happening I, I i never did that for the record oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> okay everybody's done that we've all had angry games and good game good game and you try to knock their hand off I'm okay. Oh, hey, you never know. That could be. It. Um, but also, I mean, obviously, Arsenal have a better chance of winning this match just on paper, just based on they're in the level above them, or I don't, I don't know how you say it, the tier above them, the WSL. So they more than likely will win this game. Um, and Rusha said, you know, more than likely they're going to win. However, I could see London City really giving them a go for their money, a run for their money. Like sometimes it's, I could see them, and it's. At L- London City, they're playing there, so I could really see them possibly, you know, pull- possibly pulling out a, a win. Possibly, possibly. Yeah. That would actually be exciting. I-, I am rooting for Arsenal, however, I am rooting for L- if London City Linus is one. I would be so freaking pumped for them. There's nothing like a vengeance that really gets your motor going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's the update, you know. And like I said yesterday, though, I think a lot of people blamed her for causing drama but she if 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 what is what we think it is she was really hurt and as a person you know you never know how you're going to react if you're in that same situation you know it's trauma yeah. it's traumatizing very traumatizing um but it seems like she is in a good place she's a natural entertainer Risha. so what does everyone think about that so no drama um it will be interesting it will be interesting to see if Risha and katie after the game you know hug interact at all I think they'll just interact fine, just like uh, talking, just like two people do. You do okay. Well, we will see that. That's my prediction. That is okay. Um, I can't believe I can't believe they drew each other. I love it. Okay, L- I guess last thing we'll mention really quickly. We talked about Tobin and Kristen at the beginning of the video, but uh, Tobin was just at the big house. I, I mean, the White House. <laughs> <laughs> the big house. Do they call it the big house in any other country? Um, but she was at the White House the i don't a couple days ago she posted some pictures from it for some very important um work that she is doing there and on behalf of women in equal pay she was at the white house and that is always really cool i mean that's something you tell your kids your grandkids celebrating the 15th anniversary of the lily ledbetter fair pay act and i believe it was the very first act that barack obama put into legislation when he was president that was the first uh act that he as president and very important um i had the honor of being at the white house to celebrate the 15th anniversary of the lily ledbetter fair pay act i convened along equal pay champions to highlight the ongoing fight for pay equity i feel encouraged by all the progress and i'm invigorated to keep going p.s jen klein is an absolute is an absolute badass so she was there and she posted some really cool pictures i mean anytime you get to go to the white house it's pretty cool um 
Remember when Pino and Midge Purse went to the White House a um, couple years ago? So very cool. I mean, after soccer, I know that they have their company re-ink, but I wonder what else is next for them, you know? Could Chris and Tobin even go into politics? The politicians are so substandard around the country in a lot of places that, you know, having really strong, intelligent people represent your rights. That'd be exciting, too. I mean, there's some great politicians, but there's a lot of bad ones. Yeah, we need some Kristen and Tobins in yes, this world. Yes, I mean, Tobin for president. Hell yeah. Totes. Yeah. <laughs> what does everyone think? Uh, first of all, you know, what's in the envelope? Are we going to ever find out? Hopefully one day. But obviously, if they never want to share. Obviously, we're cool with that, you know. But it is kind of like the fun game of it. Um, and it must be an important day. It must be a very important day. The second thing, you know, there's not going to be any drama. And that's, for, you know, it's for the best. I mean, it does. It's exciting. Kate McCabe is very, very famous for getting a lot of yellow cards. Maybe she could piss off the London City Lionesses fans and get yellow cards and something, a melee happens. <laughs> Not a melee. That, that would be exciting, you know. So we will see. Also, Tobin going to the White House. Very cool. What does everyone think? Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye.